Okay, so this story is called The Hat Seller and the Monkeys, and it is retold by Baba Wagwe Daikite, and it is an African folktale, comes from the African countryside. And it's one of those, uh, well, kind of a trickster tale. If you know the story of caps for sale, which a lot of you do, this might seem a little bit familiar to you. Bamusa, the hat seller, was a joyful man. He traveled from town to town selling hats, which he piled high on his head. He manun nin koi kadisa, he sang, which means what a wonderful business hat selling is. And there he is with his hats piled on his hands and on his head. Ever since he was a little boy, Bamusa made and sold hats. His grandparents and his own parents were hat makers, and they taught him to do this at a young age. After each harvest, the whole family would venture out to the fields to collect rice stalks from which they made wide-brimmed debiri hats to sell. During the rainy seasons, they embroidered close-fitting fugulan hats with intricate patterns of brightly colored threads. Through his joyful spirit and hard work, Bamusa had become very well known in the neighboring towns. Wherever he arrived with his hats piled high on his head, children would follow him and sing along as he sang his favorite song. He manu nin koi kadisa. He manu nin koi kadisa. He manu nin koi kadisa. This is the story of how Bamusa learned an important secret for success. I love that strong white outline, which really makes all those bold colors stand out in the illustrations. One day, Bamusa heard that a great festival was to take place in a neighboring town. There he could sell more hats than he'd ever sold before. He spent many days making hats for this event. To get to the festival by evening, he began his journey in the early morning. But he was in such a hurry, he did not eat any breakfast. Halfway to town, Bamusa grew so hungry and tired, he had to stop and rest under a shady mango tree. He unloaded the hats from the top of his head, and he put them on the ground next to him. And then he covered his face with one as a blind shade to keep the sun from his eyes. Bamusa soon fell asleep and began to snore loudly. Kuru tu tu tu. That's him snoring. Little did Bamusa know that the fruit from this tree attracted monkeys. Bamusa snoring alerted them to his company. So there he is sleeping. His hat is blocking the sun. And there's all his other hats. And here are the monkeys up in the mango tree. As usual, monkeys are very curious and smart. And they crept down from the tree, yuli, 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 quietly, 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 and sneaked around Bamusa. Being attracted to the colorful hats, each monkey selected one. And then they climbed back up the tree, and they imitated Bamusa, covering their faces and snoring, kitty, de, de, de. kitty, de, de, de. There they all are climbing down to take the hats. And that was them pretending to be snoring like Bamusa. Soon Bamusa woke from his sleep, rested but hungry. Eager to continue his journey, he looked for his hats. But where were they? Had they been stolen? Frantically, Bamusa called for help. He manun, he manun, he cried out. his hats in the tree. When the monkeys heard this, they answered him, hoo, 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 hoo. Bamusa looked up and realized what had happened. 
but he was so hungry he could not think clearly what to do. He raised his arms in the air. Cha, 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 he yelled. The monkeys stared down at him and replied, ho, 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 shaking their arms wildly. Bamosa threw a dead branch at them, hoping to scare them off, but the monkeys merely threw leaves at him in return. Then Bamosa picked up a stone and threw it up into the tree. The monkeys picked mangoes and threw them down at Bamosa. By this time, Bamosa was faint with hunger, and so he collected the fruit and sat down to eat. He ate until his stomach was full. Now Bamosa could think clearly. Now he knew what he must do. He removed the only hat he had left from his head and he shook it up in the air and shouted at the monkeys, He Manun! He Manun! All the monkeys did the same, grabbing the hats off their heads and howling, Hoo, hoo, hoo! Hoo, hoo, hoo! Bamosa dropped his hat tuk, to the ground and all the monkeys dropped their hats. Without losing a second, Bamosa collected all his hats, stacked them back on top of his head, and rushed to his destination. He arrived not a moment too soon. So great was Bamosa's happiness from his recent luck that his spirit of goodwill helped sell all his hats. And so it was that Bamusa learned from the monkeys, it is with a full stomach that one thinks best. For an empty satchel cannot stand. And that is the end of the story of the hat seller and the monkeys, and that is Baba Wagwe Dayakite, and he's wearing a traditional African hat on his head, something like Bamosa would have sold, like the one Bamosa would have sold in our story. I hope you enjoyed that um, traditional tale from Africa, and pick another one to watch now.